Yeah, guys, Neo Stock. We're going to be talking about 2025. Probably Trump, Elon Musk, talking about Tesla, talking about the decline in Tesla 2025 and the rise of Neo in 2025. This is not financial advice, just my opinion. It's today, today's date is 27th November 2024. It's coming up to 17 minutes past 6 p.m. UK time. Market's still open. <clears throat> That's the situation, guys. Stocks 440 as I speak, moving up and down, as you can see. Been bashed down with talk, talk of tariffs. Stock, Neo stock, says. 2020, uh, 425, it went as low as, but try to confirm that by changing the chart here on the 10 minute chart. And it, I don't get that. Oh, it, here it, sorry, here it does now say it's updated. So apparently it fell to 425, but I'm thinking Trump, Donald Trump, and Elon Musk, as you know, Elon Musk. Uh, Tesla I'm thinking 2025 guys 2025 is the reversal 2025 is when Tesla drops Tesla crashes they pull the plug guys they flick the switch they pull the plug yeah flush Tesla away and load up on yeah, flush Tesla away, make money on the way down, flick the switch, just like they do with crypto, where they want crypto to go up, they flick the switch. Crypto could be down two years, whatever, flick the switch, it goes up, flick the switch again, it crashes. Same's going to happen with Tesla. They're going to flick the switch, it's going to crash, right? And they make money on the way down, not just them, obviously. Why do you think they, they meet? Why do you think they meet? This is, this is the whole manipulation, guys. So, 100%, in my opinion, not financial advice. As I said, you will have um, Elon Musk and his friends loading up on all the Chinese stocks, emerging market, yeah? You know, they bash it down, they talk tariffs, tariffs, tariffs. Bash it, keep bashing it. Yeah, get a low price, load up, and then obviously problems are going to come through Tesla. Tesla stock crashes, short it on the way down, and load up on Neo stock. Obviously, when they, they get a cheap price, cheap as poss possible, load up on Neo stock. Neo goes to the moon and make money on the way up, right? And that's the plan, guys, in my opinion. That's the plan, in my opinion, as I said, right? I can't prove it, but you read between the lines. They can't make it look so obvious, right? Obviously, but they've got ways of buying big. They've got so many shell companies, it's, it's, it's unreal, right? So they buy it through the shell companies and... As I say, it's not just Neo stock, it's loads of other stocks, emerging markets, Chinese stocks, other stocks, right? Because that's where the wealth transfer, that, that's how they get richer. You can't get rich on one stock forever, right? That one stock is going to stagnate or start falling or crashing. So once they get so much money anyway from that stock or other stocks in the past and move on to other things either stocks that they've, they're involved in that they've built themselves new companies or they buy companies right or just invest in companies if they don't start a new company they just invest in a new company or take a company over 
or just invest in the company. So, you know, or partner with a company. So whatever, whatever, however they do it, right, the fact is that Trump, Trump's family, Elon Musk, right, and not just them, obviously, like, the clan, you know, the clan. See, they talk talk for the people, but really, it's for themselves. All, all of them are the same. All, all, you know, politicians and, you know, billionaires, etc. They're all for themselves. They're not for people. Right, even there, even when they give money to charity, they don't they don't actually give any money to charity. It's all a tax write off, right? It's all a tax write off. They wouldn't give uh, any money to anyone. So you got to understand how it all works, guys. It's just my opinion, as I said. I don't want to keep repeating, but you know, you can load up for a swing trade. You can load up for the long term. Right and then go up that like say like you load up now at four thirty four for example four dollars thirty four neo stock and then neo stock tomorrow whenever you know goes four eighty five dollars I mean you're right you can sell and make fifteen you know ten fifteen twenty percent whatever however much it rises on a swing trade get your profit you could do that with any stock right but. Or you can hold for the long term, like what they do, right? They're not in and out, in and out all the time. They make one decision, up or down. They short and or depends the same stock or currency, whatever. You know, they short it. They could be shorting one stock, you know, at the same time and then going long on another stock. They flick the switch. And how it all works is that See, people don't understand how the stock market works, which I'm not going to get fully into, but the whole thing is manipulated. You've got the big players, right? The big, they're the big shareholders, the big players, right? You might think they're losing. And they flick the switch on a stock, let's say. They pull it, right? They pull all their money. And obviously, like when they pull their money, the stock price crashes. And then retail investors... They, after that, bring the stock down, right? Because they panic, they start selling. They don't know what's even happened. They don't even, they don't even get the news because these people that pull the plug, right? They control the news. So you don't even get the news. As a retail investor, you don't even get to read the news. You get to find out after what's happened, right? They flick, they're not going to tell you what they're going to do. So they flick the switch, they pull the plug, the stock crashes, right? And they, like, you know, it can be over any issue. The, the issue, they could invent the issue. Doesn't matter what the issue is. Or if there's no issue, they just pull the plug anyway on a stock if they want to crash it, right? And then, as I say, retail investors, they find out after whatever the excuse is, whatever the reason is, right? It can be... It can be done like that. If they don't want to stock anymore, they can they can make it bad, right? Even if it's good, they can make it bad. They can da they can damage their own stock, right? Because they sell the shares at the high price and then they make money on the way down. If not them, their friends, right? The hedge funds. They don't need to be them directly, right? So they're not accused of it. And um, that's how it works, guys. They pull the plug. They can pull the plug on Tesla. They can crash it whenever they want. People won't realise. They'll find out. The retail investors will find out after what happened, whatever news they want to put out. And then that's what they do. They turn to other things. They turn to other stocks, right? They load up on other stocks. They know Neo's got a big following with the retail investors, right? So if they was to buy it or start buying big, even for the shell companies, etc., and they know that retail investors will gain confidence and start loading up and push it to the moon, right? They could push Neo stock to the moon. So that's basically what they do.
that's what they do, guys, and that's what they're planning, in my opinion. That's what I think they're going to be doing, right? And um, I think you see it in 2025, especially like they want it. They want. They're trying to get trying to get Neo stock as low as possible. They want. They want it like two dollars, right? Something like that. They want to load up because they want to make as much money as they can, right? Because they're in the billions. They're not messing around. They're not. They don't want 5, 10, 15 percent. They're looking for like X10, X20, etc. Right. So they want to buy it two dollars and then they want to push it up to 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars and then sell, you know, basically sell on the way up quietly. Right. That's what they always do. They sell on the way up in chunks and then they hold some long term, long term. Depends how. how our company, you know, how long the future is going to be for a company like Neo's future could be long term, you know, 10, 20, 30 years plus, right? So that's what they do. They obviously they want to make money short term. They want the X10, X20, etc., etc. So they sell up when it's going up, when the stock's going up, when Neo stock goes up. They're going to sell in chunks, right, on the way up. And then they're going to be holding loads. So into the future, into the long term. But as I said, that's what they're planning. That's what I think they're planning. Not just them, but obviously like a bunch of them. And that's why stocks crashed so, crashed so much. And also stock markets, because it's not just one person that pulls the plug. It's like a group of them pull, pull the plug together. Almost like um, like a timer, you know, it's on a timer. Um, quicker than AI, because they control it. AI is only keeping up with what's going on. But they're the people that, that start the start the wave up or down. These, they're the people, right, that flick the switch. They make the decisions. And it's everything's done simultaneously, because they, they, they basically share information. So as I say, they'll try and get it, get it as low as they want, right? So they can load up. And eat all these ups and downs with Neo stock. You see Neo stock going to 430 and then climbing to 480. That's obviously hedge funds, right? Making money on the way up. And then obviously when they bash it, they shorten it, they're making money on the way down as well. Just taking money, taking money, taking money from retail investors all the time, all the time, right? That's the plan, all the time. Because you get a lot of, so many, so many retail investors, they lose faith, they lose courage, they they haven't got the stamina, they haven't got the balls to hold, you know, they sell, they lose money, lose money, lose money, lose money. Doesn't matter what stock. Neo stock, any stock, they lose money, lose money. And that's the game. The game is, even if they're investing, so-called investing, buying stock, they're not really investing, are they? Retail investors, what they're doing, they're trading. They're trading, they're losing money. Stock crashes, they make it crash. And then retail investors sell, they sell at a loss, and then they pick up everything cheap. They pick up... Oh, hedge funds etc they pick up the stocks cheap and then the stock goes back up etc and that's what happens guys it's happening all the time right but people don't see it people think that it's all based on sales it's all based on neo selling more vehicles and or, or you know the tariffs neo like neo's not even going into america at the moment right so why should it affect neo but it doesn't affect Neo, but you see what's happening is people, people, retail investors, they're so stupid, right? And they are, right? They're so stupid that they think that, oh, it's tariffs. I better sell Neo because Neo's a Chinese stock and it's affected Chinese stocks, Chinese EV stocks, that sector, etc., etc. So they're so dumb. They go and sell the stock. They cause the price to go down further. And then allow like the big players to load up cheap, and then and then you know what's going to happen is that stop the tariffs will get sorted out. They say this that blah blah blah, and, you know quite quickly they can't keep it up, 
keep it going that tariffs into 2025 is going to affect the American consumer, right? Prices are going to go up for the Americans and for Europeans, not for the Chinese, right? But, you know, so-called retail investors, you can even read it in their comments, right? If you go onto any trading platform or stock tweets or Yahoo conversations, over 50% of the comments is all fear. Fear about, they talk about tariffs and fear and everything. And fear spreads, right, like wildfire. And then it causes people to, to, to read, you know, read the fear and then sell their stock, sell it at a loss or whatever. Doesn't matter. It goes down and then the big players load up. And that's how it all works, right, more or less. <clears throat> so, but it doesn't affect NEO. It doesn't affect NEO's stock. NEO not interested in going to America, not just yet anyway. They're in Europe. They want to expand more in Europe, but Europe are talking tariffs, tariffs. And meanwhile, Neo is still expanding in China and other countries are expanding in that don't have tariffs. So Neo are not, are not in any hurry to expand. Believe you me, they're not in any, any hurry to expand into, into America, right? They don't need America yet. They're still expanding in China. So that's the point, guys. Like, no, at least 50%. Um, of, as I said, neo stock so called investors they're not investors, they, they, they're they've got no balls, they've got no guts, they don't know how to trade, they don't know how to invest, they're absolutely clueless, right? On individual stocks, at least, right? Because anyone can, I suppose, invest in it, even, even investing in an index fund, right? Unless you do it properly, you're not getting value, unless you buy the dips. But you've got to be cash rich, right? Unless you buy the dips to keep topping up more post crash, you know, you, you're wasting your time, right? Because all you're going to get, all you're going to be getting is the dividends plus, you know, gradual, gradual, gradual rises. Probably takes 20 years to for, for an index to double, right? Maybe longer than 20 years. So you don't know how to play the game, guys. And that's what they're doing, these people, the politicians, the big players, right? They're playing a game. They're playing a game. They're taking money from retail investors, right? And that's when you, you're going to see them loading up in 2025. My opinion, my opinion, right? On NEO stock. Because NEO stock, let's face it, NEO is one of the good companies, yeah? It's a growing company. Although if you look, you know, if you look just certain news, you might read certain results, weak results or certain revenue sales numbers. You know, if you if you gotta look you gotta pan out. You can't look to to you know, you can read negative news, but neo like sales are growing year on year. So Neo is one. Let's put it this way: Neo is one of the best EV, you know, EV companies in China. Let's put it that way. You know, it's one of the best. It's not the biggest, but it's one of the best. And their te technology, you know, the AI, the AI nano chips, semiconductors, etc. You know, they're they're they're, they're advanced. They're advanced, super advanced, right? So 2025, guys, 2025, that's where I think Musk and, and um, Trumpy boy, that's when they're going to load up. That's when they're going to load up on these stocks, right? Them directly or through their shell companies or through their friends or whatever. You know how it works, guys. But that's what I think is going to happen. But not financial advice.